Have you ever just woken up feeling a vibe? That's me today. I'm just feeling a vibe and my weapon of choice in this video today with this vibe I think is gonna be Logic Pro. My FL Studio users, you can also just follow along and just enjoy the vibes cause I'm just feeling a vibe bro. What I wanna do is put on my headphones. So what I'm hearing first is some chords, right? So I'm just gonna play some chords. Okay, let me make sure that my keyboard and my audio is, is nicely set up here. Okay, so now let's drop my tempo. I think 120 is good, so let me put on a metronome. Okay, so I've got these chords laid out. They sound nice, but what I wanna do with them is I'm just gonna select and turn them down velocity-wise so that the the velocity is nice and and soft. Let's see if I can move this note up. Ooh, I think I like that better. Let me know down below. What do you like better? With this note up high up here or down here? I think I like this better. Okay, so I think I have an idea for the chords now. The, the, the rhythm of the chords is kind of making sense. And what I think I want to do now, just to get the vibe out of my head, is I'm going to also add uh another instrument track i'm gonna add another instrument here i think i'm just gonna add a bass something that is ooh, something like this i think this one is fine let me record this bass in what the hell just happened did it change my bass just now that always happens <laughs> That's my bass, there we go, there we go. That's my bass, so I need to redo that. So let me just explore this vibe and see where it takes me. Okay, I like that, I like that bass, I like that bass. And I'm gonna select everything and just quantize. I think I'm gonna lower this note down here. Then it goes up, then it comes back again. Then maybe I can actually turn these notes down. Okay, that sounds pretty good, right? That's kind of the, the vibe that I was hearing in my head. Let's see if I can throw in something else here. I like this guitar sound here. It's like an amped synth lead, right? So I'm gonna record that just like as a chord. just gonna hit once like that and then I'm gonna throw something else in oh I like the sound here okay so let me turn on the delay on it what kind of delay is this okay the wet is down oh I like that okay I think I can do with the delay down Just like that, and then that's gonna loop. I want it to quantize. And I'm just gonna replace this tape delay with another delay. I think I'm gonna replace it with a stereo delay. Oh, that's much better. And I'm gonna remove the bus where I'm sending it to a reverb, and also just throw in another reverb. I'm gonna throw on a silver verb. Okay, matter of fact, let me change this uh, silver verb and let's try a chroma verb. Ooh, that sounds better. I hope you guys can see where I'm going now. Okay, let's look for another sound. Ooh, 
Oh, I love that. How that sounds. I love how that sounds. I think I'm going to record that. I messed it up, obviously. I always do that. How did I play this originally? Okay, that's that's how I played it. Okay, I got it now. I got it now. I don't know what happens when you start recording. It's kind of like you get performance anxiety. There we go. That's the one. That's the one. There we go. Okay, let me hear it. Give it to me. Give it to me. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Okay, let's drop in some chrome overb on that. I like that. Let's look for something like a bell. Okay, I like that. That's gonna be like a response to this sound. Yeah, it's gonna start right there. Just before that sound. Just like that. And I'm not even going to quantize that sound. Just like that. And I think I'll add something else. Okay, so I've used bells and leads and let's see if I can pick up a pad. Ooh, I love that. I love that. That has kind of a sci-fi feel to it. Let me throw that in there. I love that. I love that. I'm gonna go back into pads. I feel like I'm not done with the pad. Okay, I like this one. I think it's just gonna start right at the beginning. Ooh, just like that. So these two pads are kind of calling on one another. So this first one here is calling, you know, and then the other one is responding. I love this, you know, call response kind of situation. This first one here goes, and then the other one goes after. And they both have different textures. You hear that, right? I love where this is going, bro. Let's go back into leads. That's too, that's too much. I love that. I think I'm going to record that. Okay, I think I got it right here at the end. Right here at the end. Those sound fine. So I'm going to take these out and I'm just going to crop that section here. And bring this back like that. And then just loop it out. Just like that. Okay, hold on. I think I'm, I just need to fix that first note. I think it's too long. It's holding on for too long. I need it shorter. Okay, that sounds good, but I think I'm going to need to quantize that. Boom. And turn it down. And I think a sound like this maybe deserves some delay on it. So I'm going to go ahead and put... Let's do a tape delay. Okay, I think that sounds pretty good. And I'm also going to throw on a chroma verb on it. And I'm going to go ahead and pick like maybe an all digital hall preset. And just raise the wet. Okay, I think the composition sounds good. Now we can get on to some drums. So I'm going to go into my Deep House sample pack. Link in the description down below if you want that if you don't have that already. So I'm gonna create a pattern region like this. And now I can turn off the metronome. Let's see if I can find another one. I think I'm gonna add another layer of a kick right here. And I'm just gonna copy this kick. And I'm just going to EQ the first kick 
out because I don't want the low frequencies. I actually want the low frequencies out. I'm going to leave the other frequencies because I want it to be kind of like my top kick. And I'm going to raise the mid range like that. And then layered with my other kick, it's going to sound like this. That sounds good. Let me just make sure I put a limiter right here on the on the master. Okay, so now time to find a like a top loop that I can throw in there. Let's see what this one sounds like. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay, I like this loop too. I'm just gonna drop that in there. But the thing with this loop is it has a kick on it. I don't want the low frequencies. I just want the top of that loop. And I'm just gonna pan these loops slightly, one to the right and one to the left. Okay, I kinda like this loop too, so I'm just gonna also add it there. I liked how it sounded with everything. And I'm also just gonna EQ it. I'm gonna check out the low frequencies. And turn down the high frequencies like that because I just want the mid frequencies, which are basically the percussions of this track. Okay, I think I'm gonna add this as kind of like my clap layer. And I'm just going to take out the low frequencies because I don't want that. All oh, those low frequencies because you see how it's coming up here in the sub frequencies. And maybe I can throw on some reverb on that, like some chroma verb. What? System overload, how, bro? This thing is telling me system overload. <laughs> is it the reverb? What the hell? Let me just turn that off. Okay, okay, turn that off. <laughs> it was telling me system overload. I think the RAM or the CPU was running out or something like that. It just goes to show you that this track is fire. As soon as you start to, 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 to see your system struggling or having some problems, that's when you know you've made some fire, bro. Okay, so now I think I want to listen to this whole vibe out in the speakers here. I'm just gonna... SD card error. How? So are you recording this whole time or no? Okay, so now I want to listen to it through the speakers, and I also just added uh, some some sounds just to make it sound super nice and special. And again, are you kidding me right now? Okay. I hope my camera is going to record right now. This old ass webcam, bro, it keeps having a memory card error for no reason. And I'm trying to listen to this freaking... I hope it's not going to give me a problem right now. Okay, so I want to play this beat out in speaker so I can hear it. I added some stuff to it. Yo, that sounds super good, bro. That sounds super amazing. I think it came out amazing. Let me know what you think down below. If you've been watching all the way till the end, some people don't even watch these videos to the end. My analytics say so. I really appreciate you. You're a real one. Thank you so much. If you want to check out more videos, I'll make sure to put more videos on the screen right now. But anyways, I'll see you in my next video. I'm X and I'm out. Peace.